Morning guys, welcome back to New Zealand. Just come down to a local beach, this is Clifton Beach, on the Cape Kidnappers coast. Probably about 15 minutes away from home in the car. Absolutely stunning morning again. Beautiful flat calm seas. Cape Kidnappers there on the horizon. So the idea this morning is to get a few shots at dawn over Cape Kidnappers. And, uh, so far, we've had an absolutely peach of a day. So what I'm trying to do is find a little bit of foreground. A few rocks, an old tree stump, anything really that's gonna make a bit of, uh, bit of foreground interest. But unfortunately, I'm not having much luck. There's not a lot going on on the beach. A few little pebbles, that's about it really. Uh, so I think what it's gonna be, we're going, to make it, we're going to make it pretty simple. We're going to use the waves as the foreground interest. And we're going to use Cape Kidnappers on the horizon there as the focal point. We'll just see how that goes. I think it'll work okay, actually. If I find an area of uh, sort of pebbly, rocky pebbly sort of ground, I think that might be quite effective. Uh, but we're going to wait to see about that. This is an absolutely stunning part of the coastline. Suffers horrendously with coastal erosion. There's a, uh, a motor park just a bit further down the road, a campsite, it's a campground. And in the 15 years that I've been here, that campground must have lost probably, I'm guessing, 20 metres of land. They kept pushing the caravans back and pushing the, the lodges back and back and back. And they're right up against the cliff face now, and it's, uh, well, it doesn't bode well for the future, put it that way. Uh, the road down to the Clifton Motor Camp, that's been rebuilt a million times. So effectively, we get a big storm, the road washes away on a fairly regular basis, and the landowner donates a bit more land to create a new road, new access road. Unfortunately, there's only so much land he's got, and uh, how long that's going to continue is anybody's guess. Uh, you've got a feel for the people down there, but unfortunately, that's coastal erosion. There's not a great deal anybody can do about that. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. But the geology down here, I mean, if anybody's into geology, <laughs> mate, this is a geology dream down here. It is phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Did I say that? It is amazing. Out there at Cape Kidnappers, you've got what I believe, I could be wrong here, probably am, is 
either one of the world's or the world's largest Gannet colony. Oh, Christ, Gannet colony uh, out on Cape Kidnappers there, and it's quite a bit of a, a draw card for tourists and things. Uh, the run safaris, the, you've got sort of overland safaris which sort of go over the hills. Uh, they run that in minibuses and they take you out to the Gannet colony, and that's quite spectacular. Or if you want to travel, my preferred way of traveling, apart from walking, would be to get a tractor, Gannet safari. Gannet Safari tractors, and uh, they run a couple of uh, couple of tractors full of tourists and uh, locals down here every day. I think every day, or throughout the Gannet Colony season season. Uh, and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be really really cool. Uh, they sort of couple of tractors full of tourists make the way down the beach from Clifton, and uh, they sort of wend the way all the way hugging the coast at low tide. It's supposed to be a fantastic trip. I've never actually done it. I once actually booked it with the uh, with the kids and the family and whatever. Uh, unfortunately, like a fool, I organised it. Which is, you know, mate, honestly, why, why, why would people have me organising stuff? So I organised it. Uh, got the tickets paid for everything. Turned up here on time. That I thought was time, and unfortunately, it was half an hour too late. I'd got the wrong time. It was something like uh, quarter to three it left or something like that, and I got down here quarter past the uh, Anyway, that was another nail in my coffin. So one day, one day, I will get out there. But I think what I'm gonna do, because I've seen a few tourists, uh, a few guys from France, a few guys from Germany, walking along the beach, a few guys from England as well. And uh, it's supposed to be quite a, if, if this is anything to go by, it's going to be a spectacular walk and it's one that I will do without a doubt in the not too distant future because uh, the geology, like I keep saying, I'm no geologist but some cracking rocks down here, some cracking rocks. Right guys listen I'm going to leave it here, uh, got a bit of a walk back, not too far, Just drive back to Napier, get a coffee, get a quick shower, get a shave maybe and then uh, I'm heading off to work. I start at 11 o'clock today. So this was just a quick get out of the house and uh, try and make a few shots and a bit of a vlog before I get to work. Guys, from New Zealand, Cape Kidnappers Coast, Kakite or not, which uh, I keep saying that and you've probably got no idea what the, what the hell I'm saying. Uh, Kakite or not is Maori for something along the lines of goodbye, have a nice day.